we understand the youth. They understand themselves today. So you can only understand the youth when you bring them on, on board. Health department, the God is safe for the people with us. Director DSD, we produce the team for the next level. Thank you so much. Thank you. I say that my name is Akele Dufoto. Director Public Health. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I will introduce myself. But I was so pleased for the first time to know the youngest lady in the house. The of commitment. You will go along. <laughs> I think you are set, yeah? yeah. <laughs> when, you are, when you are ready, look kindly, let us know. All right. Mm, because of. When this program was conceived in 2017, I was the chief officer and I'm still the one. So I know the birth of this. The concept of partnering is very critical because this particular program, the county government was supposed to put some little money and the TCA would also top up with some little money. This kind of arrangement made us go a long way. The partners have been very so strong with a very serious coordination. And this, the, the outcome is now being realized, the outcome is now being realized. And that's why people are now sensing that our investment in this program, plus the partnership from TCI, is now yielding fruits. And that come is really just encouraging. Like I mentioned in a previous meeting, youth is our core. Our attention, all our attention will be focused on the youth. Because they are the economy of the country, they are the engineer of this country. And we should invest in them by protecting them, by educating them, by doing basically everything for the youth so that they get to know our economy is hunkered on them. Issues of FGM that is normally rampant in Korea East and Korea West, we want to discourage it. But it's only through strong partnership with the community and our partners at TCI that this can be eliminated. Without doing that, then our economy is going not to grow because they are the, the economic drive from the Gori County government. I don't want to dilute what Waziri has said, but just to appreciate partnership. I want to welcome the KC team, I want to welcome the Nemira team, I want to welcome the Viga team. That they come and see what we have done. They come and see what commitment can result in. The miners, the fisher folks, we call them key population. Particularly when we are discussing issues of HIV and AIDS. The same tool, the same model we use it for adolescents, for uh, child labor, we use it for early pregnancies. So in our strategic plan that I showed you, Migori County Youth Strategic Plan, it's a component that deals with partnership. It's a component that deals with the key populations that you have just mentioned. So this program is focusing on that. How to get children, youth, away from those malpractices. What we call ill labor. We don't want it. So the program is very strong in pulling out children from fisher folk and even from mining. Because these are very serious health risk in ventures that we don't want our children to get into. As a county, we've had uh, challenges in terms of adolescents, especially previously in 2016. We had high cases of teenage pregnancy, new HIV infections, sexual gender based violence, and we realized that uh, issues of adolescents were not well known. So the county envisioned to have a multi sectoral approach since each sector was doing their own things. We decided to come together and form a multi sectoral action plan. So we planned it for five a plan for five years. We had a task force that has all the sectors represented, including gender, youth, education, TSC, the judiciary, the police, the child protection, and other partners, including the Department of Health. So we launched it uh, at the end of um, June 2018. We were the first county in Kenya to do so, and we started implementation in military in uh, July 2018. Since then, we've seen the trend of the teenage pregnancies going down. By the time we were launching, we were at 30% among the first ANC attendants. Now we are at 21%. We've been tracking it on every six months. And we, the, the, the county has learned the good things that is happening in Migori. And for today, we've been supported by the Challenge Initiative. 
to share because the Higa County and the Amira County have come to learn of this approach. Uh, when we brought the adolescents and youth uh, together, they shared what uh, affects them most. One of the things that came was poverty and lack of information. So what we are doing is to reach them with information on even how they can protect themselves. So in terms of things that have built our country, like gender-based violence, is where now we are working closely with sectors like uh, the police to take the conflicts on board. And uh, for those that are idling, we have brought the Department of Youth to economically empower them, because that is, they go to the mining sites, to the fishing sites, to look for money. So there are ways in the action plan on how they can be, how they are being trained on income generating activities. So that is how we are engaging them. Basically, we just want to benchmark uh, their approach on multi-sectoral collaboration of adolescent youth-friendly services is impressive, and that is why we also just want to come and borrow and be able to implement the same in Vihiga, especially the action plan on multi-sectoral co collaboration, and also the, the way they implement uh, adolescent youth-friendly issues, actions that they put, immediate actions they put on issues of sexual gender-based violence is very key for us in Pihiga County because uh, such issues have been affecting us and we really want to borrow and be able to implement the same in Vihiga County. The key issues that affect the adolescent include like drug and substance abuse, especially alcohol and uh, bank taking. Uh, quite a number of youths take uh, abuse drugs and that has really affect, adversely affected our adolescent and youth because uh, under the influence of drugs some of them uh, get also engaged into early sexual debut, they want to have girlfriends and boyfriends uh, under the influence of alcohol and other drugs and that makes uh, issues of teenage and adolescent pregnancy to really be high. So, And that is why we also want to just know how to be able to tackle such issues within the Higa County, like just coming together with the multi-sector collaboration and uh, we'll be able to dialogue with the youth so that we can reduce on such issues. So we also have have a few issues of uh, a gold mining in Vihiga, which is uh, not on a large scale, but uh, some minimal gold mining. So such adolescents also get to have money early enough at a younger, at tender age, and that makes them again be, get influenced in issues of drugs, issues of early sexual debut, because they already have money, they can do one or two things. So really we want to see how we can be able to tackle and be able to mani minimize such issues within mm -hmm. Vihiga. County. Then issues of sexual gender-based violence again have been a rampant in Vihiga. We have girls who get engaged in sexual, early sexual debut. Some are violated sexually by even close relatives. So we also want to just be able to how to respond very, to learn how to respond very fast to sexual gender-based violence. Uh, that's a multi-sectoral issue. So we really want to know how to tackle it and be able to reduce such incidences. County Director Health. Uh, Higa. And we are here in Migori to learn together on how we can manage aspects of adolescence and youth sexual reproductive issues. In Vihiga, we have a challenge of sexual reproductive health issues. From our data, for example, among us the first ANC clients, about 40% of them are aged below the age of 19. These are actually school-going children. Incidentally, less than uh, about 2% of them are aged less than 14 years. That's why we are here, because Migori has done very well in aspects of uh, youth uh, teenage issues and especially sexual and productive health uh, issues. Migori has a very strong multi sectoral uh, agency uh, team. They, they also have a strategic plan, 2018-2022. Uh, we are here, therefore, to learn from them on the aspects that we can borrow and implement in Vihiga. We are very grateful for our partners, especially the Challenge Initiative, TCI, for supporting us. Because in Vihiga, we've already started. Already now, we have um, an adolescence youth uh, focal person in place. We have started running inriches and outreaches to, to, to engage our youth in school and out of school. We have trained our CHVs on, on, on modules on adolescence and sexual reproductive health issues. Uh, last month, we established um, a technical working group 
and therefore we are, we are already starting to engage with the other uh, other stakeholders, including the teaching fraternity, the police, gender department, youth and social services. Disruption in the provision of services, and we lost our, our, our youth and our teenagers in the process. So we have, we are expecting that a lot of our teenagers will probably um, deliver to the course of staying at home for almost nine months. And before that, we had started engaging with them, uh, trying to talk to them in school, and even those ones out of school, trying to engage them through our CHVs in their households, getting them to know issues of reproductive health. Because it begins with knowledge. If you want people to change their behavior, you have to talk to them, you have to explain to them the, the risks of engaging, in, for example, in, in premarital uh, sexual encounters when they are still in school. Because that eventually will affect their life going forward. For example, if a girl I mean, conceives at the age of 15, it disrupts their studies very much. And eventually, even the economic growth and development in the future will be totally disrupted. Uh, the police department works uh, very closely uh, with other agencies, especially the Minister of Health, uh, in terms of uh, uh, cases related to gender-based violence and uh, uh, early pregnancies. Um, the Minister of Health is very crucial when it comes to securing evidence that is necessary to assist in uh, prosecution of um, uh, culprits. Also, because the agency that starts with um, uh, securing uh, crucial evidence, uh, once in terms of examining both the uh, victims and um, the suspects in such cases with other government agencies, uh, in uh, preventing cases of um, uh, female genital mutilation, particularly in Suba Kuria area, where the practice is still common. We've made a, a number of arrests and uh, prosecution uh, during the last uh, period such exercise was um, being undertaken. And, um, we are partnering very well with other agencies to ensure that uh, we protect our youth, especially uh, from uh, child labor. Those um, engaged in um, those other activities that affect the interests of the children by uh, fully application of um, the Children's Act, yeah, and uh, also the Sexual Offenses Act. And that act, uh, acts in place that are there to protect the interests of children. That um, school going children uh, are supposed to be in school. And where parents uh, neglect taking the children to school, we take um, a pro appropriate action based on the provisions of the Children's Act.